All right, let's get at it. Here what I have is 5G plus 4 times in parentheses negative 5 plus 3G um, equals 1 minus G. So for a problem like this, it's a lot, right? And I'm sure it can probably get very overwhelming when you're looking at this. You're like, oh my God, where do I begin? Well, the main important thing when solving equations is remember we got to get our variable by itself, right? Well, here you can see I have a lot of different variables. I have a G here, a G here, and a G there. And they're on two sides of the equation. One important thing is when I have a variable on both sides of the equation, I have to be cognizant, aware that um, I could have one exactly one solution still, or I also now include the possibility of having no solution or infinite many solutions, as I've gone through a lot of those examples. But that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, so to go through this, when solving equations, the main important thing is to simplify your left and your right side. Because what our main purpose of what we want to do is, you know, we want to get g by itself. And before we usually we can get g by itself, we're going to have a one-step equation. And usually with the multi-step, before we have a one-step equation, we're going to have a two-step equation. So what we're going to want to do is try to simplify this to get it down to a two-step equation. Because once we have a two-step equation, if you've been watching my videos, you better be pretty quick at doing two-step equations. So automatically I look on this left side and I look at, all right, think, all right, simplifying, I'm going to have to use my order of operations, right? That's what we've practiced. So the first thing is look at my parentheses. I can't do any operations inside the parentheses um, because those are not like terms. Then I look for any exponents, no exponents or no powers. So the next thing is multiplication and division. Well, I notice I can multiply the four times both of those terms. So to multiply the four by both of those terms, what I can have here is 5g minus 20 plus 12g equals 1 minus g. So I do the distributive property and then on the left side now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange the terms so I have 5g plus 12g minus 20 equals 1 minus g. I do this so you can see that you can combine your 5g and your 12g. You can combine like terms. Well that's going to give you 17g minus 20 equals 1 minus g. So now <laughs> we simplified but we're still not at a two-step equation. So hopefully what you see here is I have a g on both sides or a variable on both sides. So we need to get the variables on the same side to solve for a variable. So what I, my usually tip is I don't really say you know solve for a variable on the left side, solve for a variable on the right side. I always like to solve for the larger um, the variable with the larger uh, numeric coefficient because that's um, when solving for that large one you're going to avoid having uh, or usually avoid negative negative numbers and negative numbers where a lot of mistakes come in so what I have is I have a negative 1 in front of this G and a 17 in front of this G so that means I'm going to want to get rid of the G on the right side so remember by using equivalent equations I can add a G on both sides now it's so important for me to add this G on this on both sides that I'm keeping the problem the exact same. So therefore I have 18G minus 20 equals 1. So now the next thing I need to look at is I need to say alright now I'm at a two-step equation so now all I need to do is simply solve for my variable. So I'll add the 20 to both sides using addition property of equality so I get 18G equals 21 divide by 18 and I get G equals 21 over 18. Now I could just leave it like that um, but you pretty much want to look to see is you know how can you reduce this right you don't want to leave a fraction if you can reduce it. So I look and I say alright what is the largest number that goes into 21 and also goes into 18 and the answer is going to be 3 so that's going to leave us with 7. 7 6 is going to be our reduced answer. So hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching. Thanks.